Hi everyone, I'm here today to do a book review of Five Children and It by Ines Bit. Now I personally listened to the audiobook version and I think I got it for free or else very 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 cheap on Audible. So it might be worth you checking it out. I enjoyed the narrator a lot. I thought that her voice suited the storytelling perfectly and I definitely had no problems with the narrator at all. I found this book a nice nostalgic trip for me. I definitely w used to watch a TV programme based upon this book as a child, as I can distinctly remember the Samiad, who is a sand fairy sort of coming out of the, the ground and raising up to these children. <laughs> in case you're not aware, this story follows five children and the situations that they find themselves in once they discover a Samiad, or like I said, a sand fairy. And they discover that they can, between them, each day get one wish granted. And obviously, being children, the wishes that they uh, at least begin with are quite sort of not great ones. And it just follows the, the problems that these wishes cause for them. I find it impossible to be too harsh on this book because it is a children's classic. And it is, of course, E. Nesbitt. And I think that this really does make an excellent book for children to read because it teaches them all about being careful what you wish for and being responsible and all that kind of thing and being grateful for what you have. I definitely didn't enjoy this book as much as other books by this author, though, such as The Railway Children. It was just lacking a little bit in, like, The Railway Children you can enjoy at any age. I know this because I listened to the audiobook just a few months ago, not even that, I don't think. And so when I picked up this one, I expected the same sort of experience and I really didn't get that. I really felt like an adult listening to a children's story with this one and... It just, it lacked a little something. You didn't, I didn't find myself loving the characters like I did the Railway Children. I didn't find myself immersed in the whole story. I found it a little bit childish at times and I just didn't really connect with the characters that well. All that said though, as I said, if you've never read this before and definitely if you're of a younger age, you should definitely, definitely pick this up. It's a wonderful, wonderful children's classic. I just feel like it is that a children's classic and unlike some other children's classics this one doesn't translate quite so well to adults so yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you want to see more book reviews from me or any other bookish themed videos then please subscribe comment down below if you've read this or if you want to discuss anything else bookish related and i'll see you soon Bye bye